Sadiah Parker, heard you got a fight this weekend, sir. Yeah, Saturday, August, uh, Saturday, September 1st, King of the Cage, Ignacio, Sky U Casino. So how are you feeling? I feel great. Just getting a little bit of pounds off, but I feel great. How's camp been? Camp's been great. What do you expect? What kind of fight do you expect to have this weekend? Uh, I expect to be a great fight with uh, Jay Jackson. I plan on knocking him out. What do you like most about martial arts, about fighting, about competing? Uh, just, just the. Uh, I'm, I've always been competitive. I mean, it's not about money, getting attention. I just, I love to do what I. I just love to compete and you know, compete with myself. Any thoughts on a part of a card full of teammates? Uh, I think it's going to be an awesome card. Um, I'm excited for my teammates and for myself. Uh, tuned in to Sky U Casino on September 1st. It's going to be a great show. King of the Cage, aggressive lifestyle this weekend. What's your plan, sir? Whoops, my ass. How do you do that? Just whoop his ass. Knock him out, submit him. 33 seconds in the first round, you know. Or if you want to get his ass with all fast with five, three rounds, you need to go out three rounds. Yeah, we going for the knockout this one. Catching up again with Brenda Gonzalez Means. So uh, you went out to Iowa, but things in this fight game don't always go according to plan, right? So uh, tell us a quick story. Um, went out there, cut lots of weight, made weight, showed up to the venue. Um, they went from seven to eight fights down to four fights. Uh, we were in the rules meeting, and um, they're you know going through the rules like normal. And before you know it, a uh, commission comes back upstairs and tells us that uh, the whole event's been canceled. That there's no ambulance or security policemen on site, so they're shutting it down. <laughs> so uh, people were already starting to come in. Um, all of us fighters were just kind of looking at each other like, okay, we've been punked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we just kind of hung around for a while, uh, went out and sat in stands, you know, they started breaking the cage down. Um, the promoter was kind of surrounded by a lot of fans that wanted their money back. So, um, I felt for him, you know, he was almost in tears. Um, my feelings were hurt too. <laughs> you know, of course, the other fighters gotta make weight and stuff, but um, yeah, it's how it went down. <laughs> so, financially, do you guys all just take an L on that night? Is he held responsible at all for um, any of the contracts? You no, know, we're supposed to get paid our show money. Um, still kind of waiting for that to happen. So, um, hoping, you know. He, he, he was a fighter himself, you know, so before all this, he he was explaining to us, you know, he knows how fighters can sometimes be treated, you know, like crap and stuff, so he didn't want to be that guy. But I'm hoping, you know, he's good with his word, and I hope I at least get compensated for my show money. Did you and Jocelyn have any words that night? Did you guys discuss anything, talk? I don't know if she speaks a whole lot of English. But, you know, after they canceled the whole event, she, you know, she came up to me and, you know, just kind of smiled. We shook hands and me and her coach just kind of said, well, hopefully we can see each other again. So, hopefully that weekend is this weekend. How long did that take uh, and how obviously you guys got some pretty strong connections around King of the Cage here at Fit and HB. How long did it take to get this idea rolling of fighting this weekend? Um, I think, uh, you know, of course Arlene called Tom and Tom was like, yeah, right, you know, <laughs> but, uh, I think Tom, I'm sure Tom just got an idea right away, so he started doing what Tom does, you know, making phone calls and stuff, so, um, it sounded like there might have been a few visa issues, but I think, uh, it sounds like everything was a go, so... Um, that promoter, Brian, uh, offered to put up the TFS belt, which was cool, you know, to the winner of this weekend. And then uh, King of the Cage also threw in a uh, flyweight belt. I think they call it the flyweight and King of the Cage. So there's two belts up for grab, which is really cool. So two belts, isn't that, that's cool, right? Yeah, it is cool. You don't see that very often. So, you know, walk out with two belts in one night, that's pretty cool.
And how does this change just affect you now, the, the postponement of a week? Uh, about almost two weeks, but it's, uh, I, I think my weight cut will be a little easier. You know, I try not to put it back on, but it's hard to do sometimes, uh, or to not do. But I feel like I'm already at a lower weight right now, so, um, you know, I guess I just try to look at it as, as a positive thing and, um, you know, I'm, I'm closer to home, so a lot of my family and friends get to the watch, which is awesome, so, and I, I'm on a card with eight, nine other teammates, which is awesome too, so, um, it could be a blessing in disguise, so. My name is Tonino Maraja. I'm fighting in Durango, Colorado, next Saturday. Against Eric Perez, yes? Yeah. First fight with Fit and HB, yes? Yes. How do you feel? Good. Very good. How's training been? Too much training, bro. What good kind of... Today. Derek? I'm good for you, bro. Very nice today. I, I'm very happy for opportunity, bro. Because it's submission. Serena Ochoa going to be part of the King of the Cage card this weekend. How many amateur fights do you have? Uh, this year I had three boxing matches. Um, I guess I went 3-0 no boxing, but zero MMA fights, so this will be number one. How excited are you? Uh, I wasn't until I woke up this morning and then it just like hit me. It feels like surreal. I'm like, oh shoot, I'm finally doing this, so now I'm pumped up. You've had the boxing experience. How excited are you to get that live grappling in then? Um, I kind of want to strike and kickbox a little bit, but we'll see wherever it goes, it goes. But I'm super excited to just have that added element in there. So it'll be fun. Uh, I'll get to see how good my wrestling is or how bad it is and my jitsu too. So I'm pumped for that. How long have you been training in MMA for? Um, like around. I've been here since January and it's been great. It's just been climbing, climbing, climbing. So, yeah. Your perfect finish would be? Like this, the, the camera light just like falls on her head from the eye. <laughs> like uh, for sure, first round KO. Shania Arandando, and yes, that's as good as I can roll my R's. Apologies. Heard you're fighting King of the Cage this weekend. Uh, I am. I'm excited. I've been wanting to fight for the past two months. I haven't got anything. Yeah. Right, man. I can't count the number of times I've seen you at weigh-ins or on fight cards I've been handed, but it hasn't happened. What's that been like for you? Uh, it's it's hard, but I mean, I'm always ready. I'm always on weight. That's one thing you can count on is I'm always going to be there to show up. And I mean, if they don't show up, I'm still going to keep training. I mean, I'm just getting better and better for the next one. So what kind of fight do you expect to have on Saturday? Mm, hopefully it's a good one. I mean, that's we all want. I want to go in there for a knockout, but we'll see what happens. What do you feel is your strengths right now at this point? Uh, definitely my ground, uh, my striking has gotten so much better uh, since I started. I mean, it's, everything's getting better in my wrestling, definitely. And what's your ideal finish on Saturday night? Knockout. <laughs> Tim Sosa is going to be in action this weekend, King of the Cage, aggressive lifestyle. What kind of fight do you want to have this weekend, sir? I want to have an amazing fight, one that people talk about for ages. So I'm going to showcase my aggressive lifestyle. I'm very aggressive. You know me, you know my lifestyle. It's aggressive. That's the type of, that's the type of fight I want to have. Since the last time we saw Timbo slice in action, where do you feel you've improved the most? Uh, I don't know. First of all, my public speaking skills, as you can tell, top notch. Definitely not awkward. Whatsoever. Definitely not a cadence. Uh, always try to improve my game, even my public image. Uh, definitely, definitely public speaking, improve the most. This weekend, what are you going for? Knockout, submission? Uh, I'm going for the scenic drive. Uh, it's beautiful up there, Durango. Uh, there's a lot of great food. It's a good time. I'm excited.